Decision, a decision, whirling in my heart. And my All right, y'all, so let's jump right in. I am using the color Berry Burgundy from Dark and Lovely. And I'm assuming that my hair is gonna be darker than this color just because my hair is not brown. In the packaging, you're gonna get the conditioner, the actual hair color, the cream developer, and then of course the instructions which come with the little gloves inside of it. So the first thing I'm doing, I already separated my hair and I'm just mixing the hair color with the developer and the instructions say to just mix it together and so i'm shaking it up with my finger covering that top hole it is going to get a little warm during this part so don't be alarmed but this is pretty much what it's going to look like when the colors mix and then i'm just separating my hair into smaller sections to start applying the hair color My hair is fully covered with the dye. As you can see, my roots are starting to process uh, fairly quickly. I do have dye like all over my scalp, so hopefully that comes out. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this dye on until I think it's ready. And this is my hair washed and styled, and I'm just gonna let it air dry and see what we come out with. So this is what I am left with, y'all. As you can see, my hair does have some color to it. Um, it's not exactly what I was going for, but because my hair is so dark and I didn't add any bleach or anything like that to the dye, this is the color I came out with. I may go in and dye my hair one more time just to make sure that like the color is exactly how I want it to be, but I do want to share a couple of things that I learned with you guys this time in dyeing my hair that I would definitely caution against. So when I dyed my hair the blondish color, whatever, brown, whatever you guys want to call it, I only was dyeing like my ends. I really didn't want to do my entire head. I just really wanted the color to be on my ends. So in that case, it was easy. I literally just put the dye on my ends and called it a day. In this case, I wanted to dye my entire hair and what I did like an idiot was, like I started pretty much from the middle and worked my way down. But what I should have done was started putting the dye on my ends first because your ends take the longest to process for some reason. As you can see, I didn't do that. So like right here is really bright, but towards the ends, it's like not that color. So I would definitely make sure that you guys are processing from the bottom up and that way your roots are the last thing that's getting color and your hair should be processed evenly. Um, another thing I want to call out is to make sure you are evenly distributing the color in your hair. I did not do that. I literally just rubbed it on there with my hand that had gloves on it and caused it a day. And like you can see here how patchy it is because like I had dye right here, but for some reason I just did not put dye on my edges right here. Like luckily for me, I'm able to cover it and like you can't really tell what's going on up close and personal. But make sure you guys are like either combing the product through your hair, or brushing it through, whatever you need to do to make sure that the dye is evenly distributed so that you don't end up with patches like me. Something else I wanted to mention is that I believe the packaging says to leave the dye on if your hair is natural for 30 minutes. I think it said if your hair is perm, leave it on for 20 minutes. If your hair is natural, leave it on for 30 minutes. 
I had this dye in my hair for one hour and a half. I know, I know, but as you can see, my hair didn't fall out, my curls are still here, like, I didn't have any issues. I just find that my hair needs a lot of time to process, and I didn't have, like, any heat, I didn't put any aluminum foil or anything like that to speed up the process. I kind of just put the dye on, put a plastic bag over my hair, and let the dye do its own thing. So, if you guys are not comfortable with that, then... That's fine, but remember, I only got this level of color after an hour and a half of processing. So, just wanted to throw that out there. Set clear expectations in case any of you guys run out and buy this dye and want your hair to change colors in two seconds. Probably not gonna happen. Outside of that, I think I'm semi-satisfied with the way my hair turned out, but it's okay, you know? Not what I was expecting, but it's cool. I can work with it for a little while. But like I said, I probably will go ahead and dye my hair again. I don't know if I'm gonna use the same color and just like make the color pop more or if I want to throw something else into the mix. But I guess you guys will find out later on. I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't really a how-to, but more so a uh, watch me dye my hair. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.